Hello everyone, this is Peacemaker. I, as I as promised, I will I am going to show you how to make a texture pack. For the first thing you're gonna have to do is you're gonna need some editing software for basically picture editing. One that I one that I found and is rather useful. Um some people use GIMP, I couldn't get that download to work for some reason, but if the same thing happens to you, all you have to do is search some search something like good uh, texture pack editor for Minecraft. Um, where is it? Oh, come on. Dang. Okay, um, okay, that worked for the first time. Paint.net, right here. Should be it. Maybe. This is not it. Okay, so, like I was saying, you need, this one might be it, though. This could be it. Okay, so, yeah, um, I'll have this link for paint.net in the description. And once it's all downloaded, you will be able to open it up and should work right here. It's a very, it's very useful. You can zoom in, like, 3,000%. Okay. Here it is. The next thing you're going to need to do if you want to make a texture pack is you're going to need to make a new folder on your desktop or somewhere really. Um, just call this one uh, ah, my name. Okay, I'm just going to call this one tutorial pack. Okay. Next you um you have to go to percent app data percent. Go to dot Minecraft. Go into your bin. Go into your Minecraft. Um, just like the last one. Um, I'm not sure if, how much of a, an effect this would have, but I am just going to go to options, force update, done, login. Just to make sure that everything is there in the minecraft.jar and nothing is edited you you would probably know that you have a edited minecraft.jar if you have um if it, your meta inf inf isn't there okay so now you just go back to percent app data dot minecraft bin minecraft okay now you see your meta in, in inf is here this isn't really modding so you don't actually have to delete that for this to work okay you're gonna need a um, well lots of stuff actually okay uh... I'm, I haven't memorized exactly what you'll need yet but here's just a little list the things that you'll need are you just drag these from your main the, the, the following files from minecraft.jar into your tutorial pack drag achievements in armor and in case you're wondering this isn't everything just it isn't all of these files here just some of them art environment GUI item uh, MISC misc I guess um, what else? Mob, train, and title. Now you're gonna have to scroll down and look for a few um, PNG files and a notepad document. The first one is one second. It's down here. You scroll down until you. F it depends on how yours is arranged. First, you, you might get to the uh, particles and the pack stuff first, but the way mine's arranged, all uh, the terrain is right here. Drag in terrain. Now you yeah, have to keep going down. Oh, and uh, as you see, I'm using WinRAR Archiver. You'll need some program like this, such as 7-Zip or WinRAR. Win, win RAR Archiver. I hear this one's better, but I really don't know. I haven't used 7-Zip. And now, this is really helpful, because if you click Find up here, you can type in 
the file. Um, one of them is pack.png. And click OK. Here they are. You want the first one. This one is another something else. You click locate. Then here's the three files you need. So drag in particles, pack, and pack.png. Okay, now you can exit out of your minecraft.jar and this. All you'll need to open is the tutorial pack. Okay, now that the, the tutorial pack is open, you're gonna need to... Okay, I forgot where I was because I had to take a quick break right there and pause this video. But I'm back. So yeah, now that after you have all of these files dragged into the tutorial pack or your whatever you want to call your fact, your pack, it it doesn't really matter at all. Next, open up paint.net. Um, you can also use paint, um, Photoshop or something like that. Uh, yeah, stuff like that. Then go file open. There's a lot of different things you can um, edit with this tutorial pack. Like, if you want to edit what armor looks like, right here, these are all of the different things. At right here, you can change what leather armor would look like, diamond. Um, if you go to GUI, you can change what all these look like, all these little menus. And then right here are items. If you change what this is, you'll be able to change what they look like in your in like creative or all items or anything like that or just when you're holding them in your inventory so then if you um if you want to get if you want to edit this really well just zoom in all the way then find something you might want to edit i'm just going to edit the diamond sword okay so let's make this click more on the colors thing to um expand the menu and you can get a lot more colors I guess so then right here we're gonna make this really bright yellow right here and then I'll use your pencil because that make does one pixel at a time it's really small and so then you want to color all of this in if you want it to look um, really cool what you should probably do is make is have different shades of whatever color you're using like this I'm gonna make it darker again See, and then it just, this is going to be just, um, I don't know, what should we call this? Uh, I have no idea what a yellow ore would be or anything like that, so <laughs> I really don't know. Just making a yellow sword, I guess. And I could have made this one a bit darker, I guess. Um, yeah, it's better. Uh, let's make this, like, noon improved gold sword or something like that. Okay, so... This can take a little while, but after you get good at drawing all these little pixels in, it will go by pretty fast. Did I even do that right? Just checking. Um, control Z is the same thing as undo, and then Control Y will redo. That can be helpful a lot of the time, I guess. And then just color this in. Um, if you hit the... There are a lot of, like... Um, what are they called? Shortcut keys. So like, like if you hit K, you um, will get to the color selector. So I want to use this color again. Hit the P button, you'll be back to the pencil. Okay, um, those buttons can help you navigate pretty quickly. Okay, now we have yellow diamond sword. Now you can just save this. This is, it's usually set to what you want. Just click OK. Then go to open, and if you want to keep editing more stuff, you can. Like, if you go into mob, you'll see every mob there is. Let's just change up what a, um, what should we do? Let's change what a creeper looks like. Okay, another useful tool is called the fill tool. All you have to do is click the F button, and it comes to this. Um, if you click, these are called flood modes. Contagious, the colors have to be right next to each other. And global is anywhere on the document. Tolerance, if you have zero tolerance, it has to be the exact same color to get filled in. And then if you raise it up a lot more, it different shades of that color or even different colors would be able to get filled in too. So let's just have this at about 19, 18, something like that. Let's just make him like a red creeper. Um, Let's make this global, so now that it's doing everywhere. 
you can do you can really get into like doing it really specifically and detailed but this one's just gonna be kind of random because it's kind of hard to do it otherwise okay um you could do things like maybe you want his eyes red eh, red eyes something like that I don't know <laughs> you can do a lot of things um let's I think that creeper doesn't look very happy what do you think? Happy creeper. <laughs> I'll take a blue. So yeah, you can do lots of things with this. This is all I'm really gonna do here, and then we'll just look at what we've done. You can also change a lot of other things in here. Like I'm just gonna show you one more thing of what how to do something in here. Well, a few of them actually. This is in that little menu where you select what texture pack you're using. This is just what it's going to be there. You could just delete this all and add in. Um, yeah, let's just delete this all. Uh, eraser, you can make it really big. 70. So you can just delete all of this. Um, just going to make a really quick thing. And then red. Another tool is text, which can be helpful for things like this. Um, make it like 36 um let's just call say uh some mm, <laughs> i don't know uh you can just do whatever you want here actually i changed my mind i guess uh let's go to the paintbrush Real quick. This is just real quick. It just for fun, really. Okay. Uh, let's go to like 35. Boom, boom, boom. Snowman or something. <laughs> okay. Boop. Then just save that. So yeah, and then the pack. Um, the one that that says pack, but it's a text document. That's what it says there. Oh, we don't have that. That could be a problem. Um. I'll fix that in a sec, but yeah, so you can just experiment th with this to see all the different things you can do with this. Okay, um, oh yeah, since you, you want to be able to edit path, but we do have it in here. So just do this and let's call it, this is just like tutorial, so tutorial. And you, remember to always save when you're doing anything in a texture pack or, um, yes, anything on the computer, I suppose. But then, what you want to do is make sure you have. I'm gonna get a link in the in the description for um, Win Winrar Archiver, and then so then you'll be able to make texture packs. What you have to do is select this all. Also, Control A would also work, and then click the button that says Add to Archive. Then make sure it's on zip, otherwise it won't work. Click OK. You can change the name also, but if you already have this what on whatever name you want, it won't you won't have to change it. Now we have to open up our percent app data again. Uh, I did that wrong. Percent app data dollar sign for some weird reason. Now go into texture packs. Um, this is one of the ones I have up already, and now just drag it up into here. Now we have the tutorial pack in there. If you look here, it will say zip archive. As you can see, the other one has the same thing. And remember, it has to be like that, otherwise it won't work. Now you can open up Minecraft, log in. You can also, uh, on the title.png, you can change uh, what the Mojang thing says. You could like write something under it, change the color, maybe a background color, something like that. But see what, that, what it did. Okay, um, right, uh, one sec. This is the la other texture pack I have. I'll put a link to a download in there. Go into texture packs. As you can see, that worked there. Then go into here, plain world. What? Okay, just make a new, just make a world, it doesn't matter. It, you don't have to make a new world for a texture pack. It will automatically, um, do that. There's some random spawning eggs. Did we change the mod? No, we didn't. Okay, um, good, this isn't creative. Okay, so some of the things we changed are the diamond sword. I'll make this bigger. Did 
this is now it's basically a really shiny gold sword um, another thing we changed was what did we change change something didn't we huh wonder what guess we'll figure that out later what did we change I know we did something else or I just added a few more things so yeah just ex you can just experiment around with this and you can change a ton of different things like in my texture pack the grass is pink it's really you can have do a lot of weird things with it okay so yeah I believe that's all we changed so just um, I'll have any downloads necessary in the description and I hope you have fun making your own texture pack Okay, um, see ya, YouTube, I guess. Do -do -do.